Hey guys, Chris here for Toolman's Guitars and Basses. In today's Guitar Tech Tips, I will show you how to locate and fix grounding issues. In this series, I want to show you how to fix the most common issues and how to get the most out of your guitars and basses. I'll try to use as few special tools as possible to make it easier for you to follow my steps. This time, I will show you how to find the source of ground noise and how to get rid of it. Bad grounding causes a really loud and annoying buzz that makes your guitar or bass pretty much unusable. If you ever had this issue, you know exactly what I'm talking about. If you don't want to miss any of our Guitar Tech Tips videos, make sure to subscribe to the channel and hit that notification bell. Thanks. This is how ground noise sounds like. In order to fix that, we have to understand how ground is supposed to be wired. Let's open up the electronic cavity. All of the metal parts should be connected with a wire in order to have the ground fulfilling its function. As soon as that's not the case, you will have this really loud, annoying buzz. How will we locate the problem? In many cases, it's pretty simple because there's just gonna be a ground wire loose somewhere in there. Just have to take a look at it as soon as you find it, resolder it, and you're done. But what if you can't find anything out of the ordinary? Well, then it's gonna be a bit more complicated and you will definitely need a multimeter. You will have to test for continuity. You will have to connect all the metal parts and check if there's grounding, there's connection between those. As soon as two metal parts are not connected, you've found your problem. In order to do that, you will have to turn your multimeter to continuity test. Right there. First, let's check all the metal parts in the cavity. You simply have to touch the housings, the back parts of the pods or the sides of the switch. It's all good. We of course have to check the string grounding too. So uh, I will connect one of the pods, the back side of the pod, with the bridge. So what now? It all seems to be fine. The only thing we didn't check is the jack. So I will plug in a cable and I will test if the jack has ground. You will have the ground on the sleeve and the hot on the tip of a jack. All I need to do is connect the jack sleeve to the back side of one of the pots. Nothing. You know you found the problem as soon as the multimeter doesn't show any signal. Let's fix this. I'll open up the jack and check it out. Hmm, interesting. It looks like if someone prepared this guitar for this video, the white cable is hot and the bare is ground. It should be connected to this little connector and it's very obviously not connected anymore. This needs to be soldered back on there. Before I close the guitar, I want to see if everything works. There you go. One more important thing. If your multimeter helped you to find the source of the problem, but all seems to be fine, there's no loose cable, nothing, that's gonna be probably a cold solder joint or a broken cable. You can re-solder all those joints and if the problem's still not gone, then check those cables. That's all that could cause those problems. This is how the guitar should sound like with proper grounding. Perfect. All right, let's take this baby for a test ride. <laughs> Thank you. 
I hope this helped you. In case you have any questions left, let me know in the comment section. Don't be afraid of setting up and fixing your guitars yourself. It's time to become your own guitar tech. <laughs>